What's going on, people? Welcome back to the party. I apologize for the audio mishaps in last episode. That was, uh, I was apparently too tired to realize that my microphone on my headset was facing the incorrect direction on top of my UI being all out of whack. So that was fun, but we're fixing it now. It should be all set at the moment. Hopefully you can hear me okay. If you can't in postpartum, then I will take full responsibility of that. Feel free to yell at me at the comments. But it has been a wonderful day. Apparently we were able to take over the county. Um, what that means, I'm still actually learning, but from what I've been told, we're gonna be able to print free money. The guild will be able to print free money by like basically selling some resources that you can get from having the county. It's very beneficial to have it. And I noticed something interesting though. So. Uh, when it comes to the territory system, uh, where was it? I think it was, um, but I think it was, oh, I also got to claim that mail because there was a, a mishap, I think, yesterday, and they sent us a bunch of free food. So that's cool. Take that for sure. I'll claim that now. But um, it was in one of these menus. I think it might have been, no, not in the territory menu. Um, let's see here. This one, uh, one of these, I believe. So alongside having a county, you also have the prefecture battle and the fortress battle. Uh, I think I noticed that in the territory menu possibly, but it looks like it also shows it here too. Uh, also, you probably can't see crap on my screen right now on the left side because of that discord overlay. Let me go ahead and take care of that now so we can fix that. Actually, I just realized that it basically goes over what these mechanics are in the description of the event here. So it says when the magistrate of a server has been chosen, so that's us in this case, it says that rebel guilds can donate copper coins to the imperial court. The guild that donates the most coins will gain a chance to challenge the magistrate in county battle. The winner will become the new magistrate. Only the challenger, the magistrate's guild, and their alliances are allowed to join the county battle. When the battle begins, each guild's alliance will be determined. Any changes in alliance won't take effect in the county battle until it ends. There are two phases in a county battle. The first is stronghold occupation, and the second is a siege. That's pretty cool. Players need to bring their own siege engines. Attackers can build only the level 30 ram and siege tower at most. The total number of players on the battlefield is limited to 60. The attackers and defenders can have at most 30 players respectively. So in our server, you can see that we're registered as the official magistrate. You can see the tax rate here. And then when we go back to this, what we're going to be able to do, it appears, if we if we sign up for this, I'm not sure if the guild is interested in it, but uh, a prefecture battle. At the beginning of this battle, both sides have outposts and headquarters. Also, let me skip to this part really quick. It says only magistrate guilds can join the prefecture battle. The magistrate's allies cannot join to help. And once the battle begins, the magistrate's guild lord can click battle worship. This is an elimination tournament. The winner goes to the next round while the loser is eliminated. The final winner will become the prefect of the prefecture. So these are the different like server areas and it looks like they're all uh, they all contain different clusters. So in each prefecture it seems like there's like you know at least like five six of them around there or more. For ours it looks like there's quite a bit. And then once you're able to get a county as a guild it looks like you're able to participate in this. So it says there is a battle point in the center of the battlefield. Only the one who successfully plants the flag at the battle point can attack the opponent's outpost. Only after occupying the outpost can they attack the opponent its headquarters, conquering the opponent's base camp will lead to victory. If the battlefield time is up, the side with more occupation points will win. The occupation points are the same, the side with the last few will win. Think they mean least few? If they are all consistent, the defending side will win. Combat materials need to be transmitted through convoyers, conveyors, sorry, convoyers. It is recommended to transport materials before the gameplay starts. Both sides can participate with 20 people each. Okay, so for the prefecture battle, it's 20 people. For the county battle, it's 30. And then you get to this known, this thing known as the fortress battle. This is the interesting one that I'm not fully understanding quite yet. I'm gonna need to do a little bit more reading on this one, but it says fortress battle is split into the attacking and defending factions. The initial time for the fortress battle is 30 minutes. There are three occupying points on the battlefield. If one point is occupied, 20 minutes of combat time will be added for are to a total of 90 minutes. When the attacker successfully destroys the defender's tower within the allotted time, it will be considered a successful occupation. If the combat time runs out and the towers are still intact, it will be considered a successful defense. The winner of the fortress battle will obtain possession of the fortress, which is what I'm very curious. So it looks like there are, what is it, three fortresses here? Or four, sorry, one, two, three, and four. So let me go back to the territory really quick because I'm, I'm very curious on this. I see, so in these different prefectures, there are these multiple different fortresses, it looks like. Let's go to our server really quick here. I'm gonna take a look. I can't really see exactly where, okay. So that's actually a capital. That's not just a fortress, that's a capital. Very interesting. So can I click on that though? 
doesn't appear so. So going back to this here, so the fortress battle is once a new prefecture is open, the scramble for its fortress will begin. The prefecture chief and any guild that occupies a fortress in this prefecture can join the fortress battle. The result will be decided by the guild lord. So, oh, this is this sounds like it's potentially for the capital. Let me let me continue reading though. After the fortress is open and the fortress battle conclu concludes, you'll enter a preparation phase before the next fortress battle begins. After the preparation phase is over, you'll enter a donation period for seven days. Once the donation is concluded, the result will be publicly announced for one day. After the announcement is over, both the guild... Hold on, let me get out of here. <laughs> it's too noisy right now. It's too noisy in here. You may not even be able to hear that, but it's distracting. Get out of there. Get right over here. Chill out. Okay, I was getting into this. I'm gonna hide right here. Okay, so let's go back to this here. All right, where were we? So after the announcement is over, both guild alliances will start the fortress battle based on the donation result. During the donation, competitors can capture unoccupied fortresses by tapping the occupy button or donate to the occupied fortress. Competitors can capture unoccupied fortresses. Okay. The party who donated the most is eligible to attack first. In this fortress battle, the party who accepted the donation will automatically become the defense party. The winner of the fortress battle will become the owner of the fortress. The guild lord who occupies all fortresses when, oh, within a prefecture will become the inspector. Inspector, so I, I, maybe that's, that's how you get the capital then. Guilds are only allowed to join the fortress battle in their local prefecture. Expedition is only available when the guild teleport cross server to another area. Allied guilds can assist in the battle by sending at most 20 characters to one battle, and its members are free to withdraw during the battle. Supplies can be transported and retrieved through the guild's logistics department. It is recommended to transport supplies before the battle begins. See, what I'm curious about though is what uh, goes into the capital itself. Is that is that exactly how it works? There's also a jousting, which is pretty cool. That sounds awesome. Not any time at the moment. But then Beast Lord, in the area inhabited by the Boar King, use the item to refresh and find it. Attack the Boar King to make it go berserk. It will go on a rampage, charging into obstacles and pass out. It may die if its health is too low when one berserk is triggered. Once it's passed out, feed it the specified food to increase its obedience. What? Players can take it home? How? What? The, the Boar King's ownership protection is six hours, after which it becomes ownerless. In the inhabited area, the Grizzly King. What? And Steppenwolf? What the hell? That's amazing. Oh, there's a chance to obtain a wolf cub. What are we talking about here? That's amazing. Huh? I didn't know about this. I I, I remember hearing that one of the guilds may have had some wolves um, like in their possession. I did not know what people were talking about when it came to that, though. That is very curious. And then I know there's also a nobility system in this game. I'm not fully sure how it works. Like you have nobility here, so you start out as a commoner, and then it looks like you can go to Baron, Noble Baron, Viscount, all these other ones, and then all the way up to Grand Prince. It looks like you get attribute bonuses as well. It costs coins, it costs honor to promote to that. Preview attributes, that's interesting. So I'm gonna have to figure out how that, what that entails as well. It looks like, oh, you can upgrade, I can upgrade to Baron. I'm a Baron. That's cool. No way. Can I go Noble Baron? Wait a second. Really? Well, thank you. So I'm a Noble Baron now. So uh, instead of only having, uh, well, from Commoner to Baron, that's a 2.5% uh, base health increase. And then it goes up to Piercing Damage, Slashing Damage, and Blunt Damage increase as well. That's very useful to have. So I will say I would like to expand on what I mentioned before about this game um, leaning more on the group-based content, group-based PvP. I would say, yeah, absolutely. You would want to be in a guild for many different reasons. And one of them is for how useful this uh, boundary system is, like the, the ability to activate these buffs during the day by just spending coins like we tried yesterday is extremely useful. So you get XP rate, you get proficiency gain, you get gathering rate, all this fun stuff. And then as far as this one, so I'm, I'm not sure if Power Hour refers to spending your coins for this or not, but I know that 
uh, people were talking about uh, a mechanic called Power Hour and when that's active, which it makes sense because these buffs, from what I remember seeing, they only lasted for an hour, so that's probably what they're talking about. But um, I'm not sure if they mean this specifically or if there's another thing for it. I think it's probably that one. So you can also, oh, you can bribe stuff for the hostility. I was wondering about this too, because I noticed that as we killed not just animals, but NPCs as well, our uh, hostility would go up, which is very curious. I wasn't sure exactly what that meant. I'm gonna go get some boars actually running around here. But that makes me curious if you, when you get past, yeah, like right there up at the top right. Yeah, we got a raider conflict, some more raider hostility. So that makes me curious if when you get past a certain hostility range, if you're going to actually get attacked by animals and NPCs. A few moments later. Shit, never mind. I'm, I'm being chased by boars. Oh my God. Ugh. No time to explain. No time to explain. Just keep going. Help. I'm gonna have to actually call for help. Oh, okay. They don't chase forever. <laughs> okay, two I can take. Ow. Oh, maybe not. Oh, shit. No. Help. Don't do it. I come in peace. Oh, God. I gotta, I gotta let somebody know. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. Well, that was tragic. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do boars right right now because I might need a horse. And those ones are kicking my ass. I gotta say. I'm gonna go see what the guild's up to instead. Give me one second. I was reading about the, like the prefecture battle and stuff. Are we gonna take part in those at some point? So we are gonna fight in them. Um, yeah. We are definitely gonna be fighting in them, and we will definitely be fighting oh, in not any battles every oh. week. But uh, prefecture no. battles are extremely hard just because you're going up against like the elite of the elite guild. So yeah, we won't win, but it's gonna be very challenging. Is uh, so. Is it? Is there a, an eventual possibility to get the capital? Is that what being becoming an inspector means? Uh, basically, yeah, you basically work your way up through the ranks, so it is definitely possible. You, we just have to grind as a guild uh, ridiculously hard. Everyone needs to be 900 skill proficiencies, etc. Basically, um, and we could we could definitely make it. Yeah, we could definitely make it happen. That's crazy. On that with the secret tech. And then we have to do we have to ally with other clans, or would that be something that one single guild could accomplish? Um, so how it works, are you talking about specifically for prefecture battles? Like working the way up, like I saw the prefecture and I think it was the fortress one too. Okay, the so yeah, so as far as working with other clans, the way that, um, like for example, we have an ally, um, I guess I, I won't name, but, uh, we have a good ally right now where, I'm trying to think of how to answer that question properly, but, um, like if we were lacking numbers, so from my understanding right now for county battles, it's only 20 men. So we can only take 20 guys into a county battle, right? Mm -hmm. As far as prefecture and fort battles, I'm not sure on the player numbers yet because they've updated the game since the, re the new launch. Um, I would imagine it's probably around 20 to 30 range as well. Um, with that said, so if we're lacking, you know, say we only have 20 guys on, we can get, we can pull actually 10 guys from an alliance to come in and help us with that from my understanding as well. So, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, pretty cool. This game looks so beautiful without the HUD. What the hell? Yeah. Well, how do you think? Uh, what do you think about the game so far? It's gorgeous. Like it feels you so like good. It? I I think honestly, like this is one of the best uh, PVP sandbox games I'd ever played. Like I, I was really looking forward to Mortal Online 2, but I was yeah. I was kind of disappointed when it That's first what started. I heard. Yeah, I yeah. Heard a lot of people disappointed. We had a lot of players from Rise to go play it, and they were just like, man, there's a holy lot shit, of an alligator. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was. I really wanted it to be good because, like, I all the stuff that they were talking about during live streams, like with NPCs and stuff, like it's kind of some of the yeah. stuff that they were they're actually doing in Myth of Empires. This alligator's so fucking fast! Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Does it drop? Yeah, Does it drop off? Run oh fuck! The bridge. Run, run to the bridge! Don't oh, suck it. This bridge? Yeah. Run. Okay. Running. Horse do half damage, one bite. Fuck Holy that. crap! <laughs> I think I'm out of stamina. I'm going in the water. Is that a bad no. idea? Don't do it. No, no, it... he's after me, so you're good. Okay. Oh, shit. Yo, Hood, how you doing over there, bro? Oh no, my horse is gonna die. You, hold, here. you holding down the fort? Nope. Strapping down trees. I can runescape. <laughs> I can runescape. 
Oh, I'm coming. What's up? No, get away, get away. Is it Genji or nah so far? Not a Genji. I was wondering if you would like games like this since, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, Fallen? Bitch, like, escapes and all that. Do you want the horse? Definitely on a newer engine than Ark, which is nice, you know, but. I never played Ark, so. Shit, I don't have a skin. That one was pretty. Oh, I do. It's almost out of Dura, but I have one. Yeah, when I look back at it now, I'm like, holy crap, how did I ever play that game? It's crazy. I'm gonna see if I find a new horse. Should I skin the horse too? Yeah, is that a thing? Take that horse. Just take that horse and ride. No, I mean the horse that died. Is it possible to, oh, no, to no, skin no. it? I, I don't know. Try it. Let's see. Yeah, it actually is. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Might as well be of some use. One last sorry, horsey. Oh, he actually gives a lot of crude hide and meat. Holy crap. So, Medieval, how long yeah. have you been doing the whole like streaming thing? I'm really curious now. Oh, my God. Like five or six oh. years. Since 2017. 2017 awesome, at least. Man. So you've been at it. You've been on the grind, huh? Kinda, yeah. Like this past year, I I took like a massive hiatus because like having a baby. This this little guy was oh, such congrats. a. That's awesome. Thank you, man. Uh, oh my god, though he the newborn experience. Like I I feel like more technology needs to be dedicated to it because it's just yeah. an absolute nightmare sometimes to keep yeah. you up because they they Absolutely. can't they don't have their uh, de uh gastric system fully developed so they just mm. they're in pain. While like getting the getting the farts out and sh and stuff. Poor little guys. I know, right? Poor little guys. I remember my little brother. He's twelve years younger than me. I remember him having issues like that and stuff and puking oh, and that's all that fun that's stuff. That's oh god, oh. I'm just terrified for when. Don't go that way. Go. When is? No, no, come this oh shit, 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 gotcha. Oh, over there. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I thought he was closer. I'm just dreading when he his poops start becoming solid. Just enjoying <laughs> it while I can. That's funny. Yeah, the smell is uh, what got me the first time. Mine, uh, oh God! After eating solid food, it was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> How do we use the proficiency stuff? Is that the the, when, the stuff you get from idle training? Oh, lag. It auto gets uh, used when you do the skill. Oh. Well, have you have you been uh, at the fox pen yet? No, no, I haven't. Alright, uh, what you need to do is, like, what are you gonna go? You're gonna go bow? Well, I was doing some reading and people were saying that bow was kind of crap, at least previously, but there were some new changes made. Uh, I would love to use bow, crossbow, or throwing weapons, whatever is really good as far as that goes as a main, and use polearm as a backup. Because then make yourself uh, a few simple bows, and a bunch of stone arrows, and just mm -hmm. shoot in the air while having the proficiency on blessing. Oh, that's what those guys were doing back at base, I see. So you, you don't have to actually hit at something? No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought I thought maybe they had a tied up NPC like a hundred yards away that they were perfectly sniping or something over <laughs> and over. <laughs> no. Oh god. Uh, uh, only on melee weapons you have to hit something like with uh, like then you make a stone hammer for one handed you make a hoe for the two-hander, and then you make a re uh, what is it called? A pitchfork. Pitch oh yeah, yeah. yeah. For the polearm. Stay open. So right now, to give some context on what we're doing, folks, we're uh, we're heading towards a new base bot because now that we've taken over the county as a guild, uh, it's okay. going to be more beneficial to live in another location. Are there siege towers? Um, no. I believe there are. There's battering rams, flamethrowers, catapults, trebuchets now. Um, there's like these ballista bolt throwers, and I do believe there are siege towers. Are there siege towers, Fallen? I feel like there used to be siege towers, and there are Shout out to Willy. I almost forgot. Saka, <laughs> uh, are there siege towers in this game? Uh, there's like I can't a... remember. Yeah, there's a few different... Also, here's some horse like combat for you, Genghis. Let me find a deer. Flamethrowers on the side and shit. Medieval, if you want to, just yeah. head to the bridge. Oh, that's right. That's the bridge right. There. It's like oh, a shit. super Be battery careful ram. going up yep. to the wooden structures, but up there you can just go all the way to the top. 
Okay, Yo, I so I, say, uh, solo I go this here, way, bro. follow the road. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you for making the Wotu today, bro. That was dope. It was a good move. Oh, I'm about to have like, what? I think I just did a... Oh, the bridge, okay. Seven or eight plot harvest. Okay, um, we're on right our way. I'm now grinding it all down. I should have about 500 more Wotu. Get your ass yeah, out of here. Five, 400 more vegetable oil. Yeah, that should oh my give us a major advantage in PvP. Any advantage we can get is like. Really I told good. you, man. The that arc is so really wide when you're on horseback. It's wild. Oh, nice shot. Nah, you're gonna kill my, my horse. No, there's no. Dark, dark. What happened? Yeah, you got food? Oh, shiz. Yeah, let's go. Oh, boy. Hold on. Right this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. I know they got bows. It's in the, it's in the wagon too, by the way. Uh, I know they gotta have bows. I'm not gonna be in the Devil. cave, am I? Yeah. No. What happened? To the next one. I'm moving back up. Yeah, oh, nothing. I had to go past an NPC camp. It was scary. Oh yeah, I saw the the oh, oh. took damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that gear that Viper made? Yeah. Hmm? The chat. Am I being left? Here we go. Now I can test out the mounted combat. Initially, though, like, yeah, you definitely want to. that's that's. You, you probably want to like stop before you take a shot or something because it is so wide of an arc. Oh boy, I should have got that shot. That was an easy. That was an easy shot. To be honest, I did I just shoot that tree? I saw it shake. That's funny. Honestly, I'm not used to the square reticle. Like I'm used to the either the dot or like a mountain blade sort of one. I wish you could change the arrow reticle, but maybe that I don't know. Maybe they could, would consider that too OP. I'm not sure, but oh, that looks like an iron mine. That's juicy. What game? the You think I could probably? I think I could sneak up on him right now and get get some of this ore. That would be embarrassing. Like Stay right there for me, horsey. Mate, the bear that we just met up with, like, not long ago, I'm so happy it didn't catch up. Oh, you have Dark Warriors coming on, huh? Um, I was. I didn't know you played this game. <laughs> didn't know you played this game, huh? <laughs> I know. Any idea who that was? Oh. Ooh. Did you see the notification? Uh-uh. No, I haven't seen anything. I'm trying to get Alex. What's going on? No, he's so much iron ore. Somebody got killed by a turret in our, uh, by one of our towers or something in the area, but I don't see it in the guild log, and I'm looking around, and I don't see any enemies. Snap, nice. Yeah. Who, who, whatever, died to a watchtower near our base? Okay. Yeah, that's weird. I thought it would be in guild log, too, because it's a guild structure, but... Man, I might be able not. to sneak around and get all this ore if I wanted to. You got your way up, um... I'm not in the area, front. so I didn't get a notification at all. Okay. okay, it must just be a local notification. That's interesting. All right. I'm, I'm getting there, but I... I came across an iron mine and realized there were, like, three nodes outside, so I'm just grabbing these real quick. <laughs> I I feel like I could... Can, can NPC, like, if they're sleeping, can they can they detect you, like, if yes. you scrout? Uh, Not if they're sleeping, but if you hit one of them, yeah, they will wake up and fuck you up. Okay. A, those ones, yeah, they, they think, are kind of powerful. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I could sneak around and get some of this. Wow, down below there's like a crap ton of nodes just untouched. Oh, we need iron a lot, right? Wolves followed me. We need iron badly, right? Yeah, we're gonna do an iron run tonight. So. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Iron and copper. We're gonna have like a bunch of people on a bunch of carts and. Go out and farm a bunch of shit. Oh, I think I can see the base from here. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's that's the staircase up to the base. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's crazy. That's such a good location. Yeah. It's what? Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's can great. But you'll figure out why he's saying that soon. Bone, are you going to take him up yeah. there? Uh, like, uh, the plan was to do that, but my horse died, so now I'm taming a new horse. Oh, God. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll... I sent him up there. Yeah, yeah, I'll be up there in a second. I'm just, there's, like, there's multiple nodes down here that are just completely unguarded. This is crazy. Of iron nodes as much as I can. Do these vagrants really not fight these wolves? I know. Oh, snap, man. Like, I wonder how long it took to build this. Did your top right did it say that wolves are coming for you? the hell? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. If Friendly. it does, then they're, they're aggro to you. Good luck. Okay. 
be. Oh my god. Run by other people, oh. They're gonna target whoa, 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 whoa. They're <laughs> gonna kill my horse. Okay. Hey, now. Does that oh, no. make it so eventually our bases get attacked by the animals and, and NPCs, or it's just their hostility? They do. Yeah, it's relatively pretty weak, to be honest. Um, the attacks are even at higher stage, but we just pay off a bribe. There's like a, it's weird because you can bribe animals. I don't, it's really, <laughs> but there's like a wolf thing. There's a fox thing. And you, if you just pay it, it's relatively cheap. The aggro, uh, like the aggression level goes down. Um, and then they won't like, yeah, they won't raid you. Alex, if only we had a bow and arrow right now, dude, we could totally get this guy. But, but killing the NPCs and the wolves and that gives us hide and all that shit. So it's pretty good to have yep that yeah. and i saw that uh boar master event too are there like actual wolves and I need, I need stuff branch. you can tame i need two uh, more branch do you have two more branch i'm, I'm not miss, sure dude. about that i haven't tested I don't have any branches but i have this for you here take these yeah i saw in the event tab it said uh you can get a wolf cub or something like that in that boar master event it was it was a party yeah oh, that sounded really cool what the fuck is that? yeah Yeah, I got more for you. Come on, don't run out of stamina. Don't <laughs> fuck off. Here we go. Okay. Ultra bone spear. He has some, uh, yeah, that's pretty good shit. He has some grilled meat on him, which is what you need. Food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, small beginning. This oh is pretty God, cool, though. Like, it's so high up. This, it, this is an amazing location. Look at this. Oh, uh, so, so we're basically Dude. in there as well. This is wild. You can see everything from here. What would be amazing though is if you could have like catapults and ballistas up here. I know you can, I think you can craft them. I don't know for sure, but as far as having them in the overworld, uh, hopefully you can because this would be an amazing location to rain down on enemies with, enemies with for. And it's it's such a good location because like if you at higher stages or, or in game, if you need battering rams or um, different siege engines to assault the base, it seems like it'd be not impossible almost to assault, assault a base like this. This is an amazing location. Holy crap. Well, it's going to take me a journey in its own to get down from here, unless I want to go jump off the cliff and make it easier. Folks, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this expands, but so far, though, this game has blown my mind. It's been such a massive improvement from what I remember years ago. Uh, it's something that I feel like everybody, if you're a PvP sandbox enthusiast, needs to try at least once. There's a lot that this game does well. Um, there's, of course, always room for improvement, but as far as what they're offering right now, though, I dig it. And I'm very interested because we were talking about this a little earlier about the companion system. I'm very interested to see how that goes and having three companions follow me around and seeing everybody with companions following them as well. It sounds amazing to me. Maybe next episode I'll work on taming my own actual horse, like one that has my name on it because this one is just my buddy Fallen's. And also seeing if I can start the process of taming an NPC themselves. For now though, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful night or day. I know we didn't get much combat in this one, but sometimes you gotta build up to the action and I gotta feel that action is coming. Unfortunately, I missed the battle that happened this morning that was between our guild and another. It sounded like it would have been so fun. It was like a 15 versus 15 skirmish, but, but if I get any inkling at all that there's gonna be a battle, I'm definitely gonna be turning on that OBS. I'll catch you next time, folks. Have a good one.